You want to support Roller March Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real as Roller Martin Unfiltered. Support the Roller Martin Unfiltered daily digital show by going to rollermartinunfiltered.com. You can make this possible. Uh, speaking of power, a Trump appointed federal judge uh, has ended that uh, moratorium on evictions. Uh, now they're going to uh, come back. Robert, I want to get thoughts on this here. This is going to be a significant issue economically uh, once these evictions uh, start back up. But they're, well, they're just appealing. The, yeah, there's they're going to be appealed, and, uh, and hopefully we can buy some more time. But America's, uh, uh, America is going to be on the edge of a crisis coming up. And, and I, I think when Joe Biden was elected, I said he had the, strong, or the hardest job of rebuilding the country since any president since probably Grant uh, in, uh, during Reconstruction. Because once these eviction moratoriums are over, there are going to be people who are faced with uh, $8,000, dollars $10,000 uh, back payments on their rent that they need to come up with immediately to prevent uh, uh, eviction. At the same time, there's going to be a foreclosure crisis that hits also when many of these federal programs and banking programs that gave people foreclosure forbearance go away. We're going to see the enhanced unemployment end in September. You're going to have about 4 million jobs that need to be filled, and there's not going to be another stimulus coming down the pipe. So we need to be, we can't be caught flat-footed on this as we often are. Too often in the African-American community, we simply let the news happen to us instead of becoming active participants in it. And since we see that President Trump pat the courts of over 200 federal judges, uh, added additional judges to the Supreme Court in order for him to have a majority that Mitch McConnell stole for him, then we can't really look to the federal courts for uh, for relief in this situation. And we're going to have to work through the legislature to ensure that they are passing some laws now to prepare what's coming down the pike in six months or eight months. Because if not, we're going to be looking at a repeat of 2008-2009 financial crisis when this entire housing market collapses under its own weight because people just simply put are not going to have the money to maintain their housing situation. And we seen the overinflated prices in every city around the country when it comes to buying a house, and many people are simply waiting for the bubble to pop, the programs to end, to buy up cheap, and that's when the, the final uh, nail of gentrification will hit many of our communities, because we simply put, will not have the buying power to protect the historical landmark and historical neighborhoods where we've always lived at. Money. They've already filed the appeal. They've asked for a stay pending the appeal, their appeal to the circuit court. This is the difference when you have a DOJ that is actually interested in justice and is following the lead of a moral leader who is looking to provide relief to the American people. So while this is certainly a problem and this judge's ruling is, is not what we want, this is not the end of that story. Scott? Well, well how long do you people want the moratorium to stay in place. Oh, here we go. Over 100 see million this. people see. have been vaccinated. We One, we're coming out of COVID, not out of COVID yet. Landlords got to get paid, and renters have to pay rent. I understand the moratorium. I was on board with the moratorium, but forever, moratorium is not appropriate for businesses and for landlords. So there's got to be some balance here. So I think the moratorium has got to go, and we got to get back to business, and people have to start paying rent. What is this? I'm a landlord. I need my rent. Oh, I can talk some more. Well, let me tell you something. I feel sorry. I, 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 was, I, was, I was I was I was waiting for Robert and Monique to respond. Well, well, look, rescue look. Package. Where's that rescue package? They put it in their pocket, pay your rent. This moratorium is not going to be reinstated. And if it is, it's only going to be structured or 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 limited going forward. It can't be forever. But, but, Scott, even if the moratorium isn't forever, we have to put programs in to ramp these things up because the idea that someone who's been out of work for 15 months is going to suddenly have $10,000 to pay their rent back up. are not all out of work. They're that but, money. But this, you got to pay but, your but, rent. You can't live for free. But, Everybody but, but can't have water. If you've been out of work, I, 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 I can't overtalk Robert. The, the whole point is we need some federal legislation to have a ramp-up program so everybody can get their rent paid. The landlords sitting in their palatial estates will be able to, you know, buy their second yacht and their second boat. Oh, 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 oh. Nobody will go into foreclosure at the same time. There's a way to structure the program where it can work properly. Oh, but just kicking folks out the door and expecting them to have the $10,000 in their pockets. They signed the contract. Situation. They know they got rent every month. 
forgive me. They stop it. They have stop it. Every month. They stop. signed a contract. No, no, no. You can't get out of contract because of no, the pandemic. You've had a moratorium stop. for at least a year or no. so. Pay your rent. There's an excuse. No. No. Stop it. Stop it right now. Okay. You know better. I'm telling yes, you the they truth. signed a contract. They didn't You're sign a right. contract knowing that there was going to be an international pandemic. <laughs> they didn't sign a contract knowing that and they the have a more They depended on it's we're going to be closed. Scott, to Scott, talking. she's talking. I'm speaking now. Landlords who are trying to enforce this have gotten their PPP and their EIDL and everything else. And the reason why they have that is because not that's supposed to bridge the gap. For what is not coming by way of rent from people who have no jobs. You can't, because there's been a moratorium, now go back six months, eight months. What about and the say ones that have a job? You didn't pay the three. Why can't you function what in the fact that I'm still talking? I'm talking. I will get to it. What okay. I am saying is landlords have been given relief too. Now, these tenants should have, in my mind, forgiveness for what could not be paid. You can't reinstate eviction proceedings after the moratorium like they never happened. That's not what should happen. And the legislation that they're working on now actually is going to fix that so that you can't go back to December of last year or whenever the moratorium last hit and get that money. Because because landlords got 20000 30000 40000 50000 Scott, you a landlord? Stop acting like you didn't get your check. Can I, can I, Be candid so on here. You, you got here's the problem money. with you liberal. Are you done? Hold here's on, wait, wait, hold on, hold on, wait. Hold up, hold you know up. The wait, 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 hold up, Scott. Hold up, Monique, Monique, up. Monique, you done? It don't work. Monique, you done? I am. I'm done and I'm disgusted. Okay, Scott, go yeah, ahead. Well, I tell you Scott, what. go ahead. I tell you what, the problem with you liberals and people like you liberals and one on the liberal far left of the wing, you want everything for free and forever, and that's not how life works, okay? I was for the moratorium, but at some point in time, we got to come out of this. People got to pay their rent. Send your employed, money back, give man. Give them some relief. Send your check employed, back. Give Send them some relief. Back. But if they're employed, they got to pay rent and they got to catch up on their rent. Period. Bottom line, it's a proposition that doesn't stop being that and it's not going to stop being that. Pay your rent. The rolling. Let's run. We move Send your money back, stuff. man. Send your Say money what? back. Because because if they have my to money pay back. you, then you don't deserve the, the rescue money. Ah, uh, well, I didn't get any rescue now money what? and a lot of landlords that didn't and a lot of us are suffering. So you can't put us all in one big Scott, category. Stop saying that. Whatever us. we live. You know you good can't do and it. doggone well you are not suffering. You Stop it in the name people. of, of, of yeah. the law. Stop it. Free stop and right forever. Y'all want to God be free, free and forever. Just stop it. At some Nobody point, says free God. or God. forever. Stop God, it. You can't no. be sitting there looking like Scrooge and Duck talking about you. I had enough to hear with you liberal. Up to here. I let it pass when you said those are who are of a darker hue, like that has something to do with you. I let that pass because I was trying to be good with you. But now you're just wrong. You're just wrong. <laughs> oh, I'm right. And I'm going to get my money. I'm going to get my money. Bottom line. Yeah, anybody renting from Scott, you might want to start getting some U-Haul trucks right now. Because <laughs> sounds like Scrooge McDuck about to come to repossess everything. So you might want to get on out before the sheriff come. That's right. That's right. I'm showing up with the sheriff to get my money. Good luck with the appeal. Y'all done. God bless America. Are y'all done? And another thing. Are y'all done? <laughs> All right. All right, folks. Back to my unfiltered video in just one moment. It's time to be smart. When we control our institutions, we win. We win. This is the most important news show on television of any racial background. Y'all put two, three, four, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, thirty dollars on this and keep this going. What you've done, Roland, since this crisis came out in full bloom. Anybody watching this, tell your friends. Go back and look at the last two weeks, especially of Roland Martin Unfiltered. I mean, hell, go back and look at the last two days. You've had sitting United States senators today, Klobuchar and Harris. Whatever you have that you have, you can bring to Roland Martin Unfiltered to support it. Please do, because this information may literally save your life. Watch Roland Martin Unfiltered daily at 6 p.m. Eastern on YouTube, Facebook, or Periscope, or go to RolandMartinUnfiltered.com.
Support the Roland Martin Unfiltered Daily Digital Show by going to RolandMartinUnfiltered.com. Our goal is to get 20,000 of our fans contributing 50 bucks each for the whole year. You can make this possible. RolandMartinUnfiltered.com.